electric cars aren't just racing gas cars anymore, they're racing your expectations. On the brochure, every EV looks amazing. You see lines like up to 400 miles of range, charge from 10 to 80% in 20 minutes, but then you drive it in real life. The battery drops faster on the highway than you expected, the range number keeps shrinking, and you're staring at the screen thinking, where did all my miles go? Today we're talking about the great EV range race. How far can electric cars actually go? And by the end of this video, you'll know which numbers you can trust and which ones are basically marketing tricks. Before we start, quick deal. If you've ever felt nervous watching your battery drop on a long drive, hit like. And if you want honest car breakdowns without fanboy bias, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. All right, let's break this down. The truth behind up two. When a company says up to 350 miles of range, that doesn't mean you will get 350 miles. That number usually comes from almost perfect conditions. A full battery, flat roads, mild weather, slow and gentle driving, no big hills, no heavy cargo, no aggressive acceleration. Now let's add real life. You drive on the highway, you have passengers, maybe some luggage, you speed up to overtake, you hit a few hills. Suddenly that 350 miles turns into something very different. In normal mixed driving, that might feel more like around 280 to 300 miles, not 350. On a fast highway trip, it might feel more like around 230 to 270 miles. So when you see a big number on the spec sheet, it's more like a maximum under ideal conditions, not a promise for everyday driving. City versus Highway, the EV plot twist. This part shocks a lot of people coming from gas cars. Gas cars usually get better fuel economy on the highway. EVs are often the opposite. Why? In the city, you drive slower, you stop and go more. The car uses regenerative braking, which turns some of your braking energy back into battery power. On the highway, you drive faster, the air pushes harder against the car. The car has to constantly push energy out to keep that higher speed. So if you drive at say 75 or 80 miles per hour for a long time, you'll notice your range dropping faster than in city traffic. That's why some people think their car is lying on road trips. It isn't lying, it's just being used in the one situation that drains its battery the fastest. Now let's talk about temperature. EV batteries are like people. They don't work their best when it's freezing or extremely hot. In cold weather, the battery chemistry slows down, the car uses extra energy to heat the cabin. It may also use energy to warm the battery itself. On a very cold day, it is normal to lose around 20 to even 40% of your usual range. So if your car normally gives you about 300 miles in good weather, on a freezing winter highway trip, you might only feel safe planning for around 180 to 230 miles before you want to charge. In very hot weather, the hit is usually smaller than in winter, but you still lose some miles. Now let's be honest about the driver, which is you and me. EVs feel instant and fun. You tap the pedal and the car just goes, but every time you rule launch hard from a stop, speed up aggressively to overtake, brake late instead of lifting early, you're trading range for fun. Smooth driving, gentle acceleration, and using regen smartly can easily give you around 10 to 15% more range from the same car and the same battery. So when you compare your own results to a reviewer on YouTube, remember, you're not just comparing cars, you're comparing driving habits. So what is a real EV range? Here's a simple rule you can use when you see a range number. Take the official number and do this. For normal weather and mixed city plus highway, expect about 80 to 85% of that number in real life. For example, if a car claims 400 miles, think around 320 to 340 miles in everyday driving. For mostly highway at around 70 to 80 miles per hour, expect more like about 65 to 80%. So that same 400-mile car might feel more like around 260 to 320 miles on a fast highway trip. For very cold winter highway driving, you might only get around 60 to 70 percent. So in deep winter, that 400-mile car could feel more like around 240 to 280 miles before you're ready to stop and charge. Not as magical as the ad, but still very usable for most people's lives. How to compare EVs smartly? When you're looking at EVs, don't only ask what is the range, also ask what is the battery size in kilowatt hours? What is the efficiency? For example, how many miles per kilowatt hour does it get? How does it perform in independent real-world tests, not just the official cycle? Two cars can both say 300 miles of range. One might need a huge battery to reach that. The other might reach it with a smaller battery because it's more efficient. The more efficient car usually weighs less, weighs less, charges faster from empty to full, and can feel better to drive day to day. So how far can EVs actually go? Short answer, not as far as the brochure says, but usually far enough for almost everyone's daily life, if you understand the reality behind the numbers. Now I want to hear from you, what is the minimum real-world range that would make you comfortable buying an EV? Let me know in the comments. If this helped clear up the EV range confusion, tap like, and if you want more real-world car content without the hype, hit subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching and remember, don't just chase the biggest number, chase the range that actually fits your life.